Okay, hello Swib ladies. We are Buttered Hosts. This is Jill and I'm Isla. Um, and today we're going to talk about search engine optimization. We're going to give you our top five tips on how to improve your SEO today. So number one we're going to start with is ideal client and ideal market. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, Jill? Absolutely. So some of you might already have done a bit of this in your general business setup or in your business life. And this is looking at who is your ideal client? Who's your target market going to be? <clears throat> and I would suggest that for SEO, you want to really narrow that down. It's really important in lots of different areas of business, but for SEO, it's really, really important. You narrow it down and you really understand who you're targeting with your search engine, who your who your website's speaking to. So really make an avatar or, or multiple avatars of your, your ideal clients. So think about where they live, where they socialize, who their neighbors are, what cars they drive, where do they shop, uh, do they have children, you know, what is their uh, ethnicity, lots of different things. How do they like to consume um, content? Are they, are they video watchers? Are they readers? Are they audio? a podcast type people think about all these things and gather all that information produce that uh, avatar of who your your ideal client is and then you can speak and target directly to them in your search engine optimization so that takes us to the next thing content Ayla tell us about content Absolutely. So when you think about content on the web, you think about how you search for it. You're essentially asking your um, asking the search engine a question. So you're asking it, how can I do something or where can I do something or what is the solution to this problem that I have? So if you're creating um, a website or or some sort of a um, something online, then you're looking to answer the questions that people are asking. So knowing what the people that you're trying to target are going to ask is really important. When we, we look at that, we look at keywords is the, the phrase that's used and keywords and um, um, and key, keyword research is all about searching for those words that your ideal client that you've previously looked for are now going to use to search for things online. Um, and the more you have in, of these keywords in your content, the more likely they are to come up in the search engines. So content is king. It is important to do your research and make it make it good. So that moves us on to number three, having an active site. Do you want to go into a little bit of that? Absolutely. So <clears throat> active sites, search engines love to see uh, modern, up-to-date, relevant content. And if you make a change, adding content to your website, then the search engines love that. And one of the best and easiest ways to add stuff and add pages to your site is to have a blog because every blog you add is like adding another page to your website. And again, a blog gives you an opportunity to answer those questions and, and really use the, your headings and your images and your text to answer the questions that people are asking out there. So if you've never done a blog before, don't be scared of it, get on it. You can blog in text, video, audio, you can use all those things depending on what your ideal client likes. Um, if you've had a blog in the past and it's kind of fall by the wayside, get back on it because it's really, really important. And if you're already doing it, well, just tailor it really, really well to your ideal client and those keywords that Ayla was talking about. Um, oh, so uh, yeah, so where are we going now? Links. Links, links. yes. Yeah, so that's right. So number four is links. So we're going to look at um, internal and external. So internal links are within your website. So search engines really like it when there's a clear structure to your site. So if you've got links from your home homepage, for example, through into other pages of your site, and um, that just directs your customer, takes it on the right journey, and um, your customer on the right journey through um through your website and keeps it really structured. You can then have external links. Now external links are taking your your readers to another website that's not yours, but it has relevant content on it that is relevant to yours. Um, so these are two really easy ways to include links into your, <laughs> sorry, there's a fire engine outside. These are two, two really easy ways to add links into your site. And sometimes when you add links to other people's sites, they'll do backlinks right back to yours and search engines really enjoy that as well. So now we're going into number five. Can I just say a quick thing about backlinks? Of course. Yep. So there's, <clears throat> if you want to increase your SEO, backlinks are really 
important for something that we call domain authority. So that mm. means that more people think your site's good, basically. So if you can get more of those that Isla was talking about, that's mm. going to be good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And don't be scared to ask for them. Um, yeah. People are, are very willing to do it. You know, if, if you've got if you've got relevant content on your website and provide real value on it, then they're usually pretty happy to recommend you back and forth. So don't yep. be scared to ask. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Oh, last five. but not least. <laughs> Absolutely. So number five is looking at how uh, is it we're looking at the search engine tools. Tools. Yeah. So yeah. some of the tools, we can't go into all of them because there's loads and loads. But really on your on your site, whatever it is, um we we really deal with WordPress sites. So what, what we call plugins is is things that you can add to your site that help the functionality. So make sure you've got your um, plugins that uh, you can look, go through, get scoring and ranking for SEO on them. <clears throat> I think most uh, content management systems for websites will have some form of this. Uh, in, in WordPress, you can use things like Rank Math or Yoast. Uh, and I know that some of the other uh, services like Squarespace and Wix have their own version of these kind of things. So make sure they're installed, make sure you use them. Uh, and the other thing is that you can check out how your website's doing. Um, it's a very technical search, but you can have a check and see uh, in a site called gtmetrics.com. And these this will give you a, a lot of technical stats, but it will let you see where some of the issues might be on your site if they're holding you back in a technical way. And you may not understand the, the output and that's okay. Um, you can then take that to a, a professional if you so wish and, and have them help you further with that. But I think that's about all the, the, the easy to get to tools that we could say, yeah. I think that's true. I think that's true. So hopefully that's given you um, five points to go off and have a little look, do, do some research on your website and see um, see what's missing and what you can do to improve it. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>